Hi everyone, Angus Campbell here. It is Wednesday the 20th of September. So uh, a bit of un an unusual view. And that's because we've come up to uh, the facility where I'm temporarily storing, well, it was one or two of the bikes to do a bit of a swap around. So as you can see, I've brought up the Fury Roadster and the B25SS to uh, accompany the Rocket 3, which has been hibernating this year. And outside there is the Lightning that we're picking up to take back to the garage at home because we're prepping for the show on Saturday, the uh, Classic Bike Fest at uh, the BSA Distributors Lucas in Coventry. And I'm taking the Fury SS, which is still in the garage, and the A70 Lightning. And that's why we're doing a bit of a swap around to uh, get a bit more space in the garage and get the right bikes in the garage so I can prep them tomorrow, ready to go up Friday evening for setup and the show's on, uh, on Saturday. Um, sorry about the angle on the Fury, can't say too much because just down there is the seat of the reveal that we're gonna do probably in about a month's time, uh, in October anyway, early October perhaps. Um, but other than that, we'll get the uh, lightning loading up on the, uh, on the trailer and I'll bring you back in the garage and tell you a bit more about the show for those that uh, haven't seen it. Right, we've done it, the lightning uh, back in the garage. So two out and one in, so we've got a bit more space. Um, so as I say, we're taking the Lightning and the Fury SS over there to uh, the Classic Bike Fest show on Saturday. So that's the 23rd of September at BSA's distrib Distributors um, Lucas, L-U-K-A-S. Uh, so it's good, good to have the old bike uh, back in. I don't know what it is about the bike, but it does sit well. Uh, nice looking bike, even though I do say so myself. Right, it's weather's been dreadful, so uh, <laughs> everything's got rained on. But we'll give her a wipe down. And we'll uh, do a bit of a bullying up. And um, nothing else to do on this one. It's actually drained of oils and stuff at the moment, as it's been uh, sort of laid up. It's nice to get it back. And then with the, the Fury, um, just need to check the tyres. Uh, I pumped up on that, they look a little lit down actually, but we'll soon sort that out. And also, um, we've been waiting on um, a Patton Auto Advance uh, for quite a long while actually. And um, when we ran this up, we borrowed uh, the Auto Advance unit, kindly loaned by Tony Page out of his Bandit. But the good news is, um, as someone who's kind enough, Bob Rogerson was kind enough to make some up. So I put uh, Pattern one in the bike. That's the original one from the Bandit that we used. Tony Page, and I've got a spare as well. Just got to get some bob weights and springs for that, just in case. So there we are. So that was just a, a really quick. Um, video just to let you know what's going on um, prep wise for um, Classic Bike Fest on the um, 23rd and as I say have a look on the website if you want to know what's going on. It's a new show and I think it's it costs you nothing to get in. Um, so got to be worthwhile it's in Coventry so pretty centrally placed. So if I see any of you there um, it'd be good to meet up come and say hello. I've got uh, my own little pitch just with these two bikes, uh, the two banners and the info boards. And I'm hoping to be next to um, Peter Crawford, the author of Thunderbolts and Lightning, as well as uh, several other books associated with BSA, because um, obviously one of the bikes featured in his book is, uh, is the A70, and he did ask if this could go on his stand. So as I'd already registered it myself, I've gone next to him and we'll sort of share it in between us. Uh, so I hope that works. Um, but there is also going to be a BSA Owners Club uh, small enclosure too. Phil Bull 
is organising that. So if you want to ride there on a BSA and have that included, I think you can just do it on spec, but uh, check with Phil Bull. Right, we'll leave it there for now on that front, uh, but just to let you know, things are progressing with the uh, the Bonnie, hence the, uh, the head being over there, being worked on at the minute. Right, that's it for now. I'll stop rambling on. Thanks very much uh, for watching for the quick update. Uh, thanks for your interest as always and any comments and subscriptions. And hopefully I might see uh, one or two of you very soon. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.